Today's video will cover basic geometry, vocabulary, and notation. A dot represents a point. A point has no dimension. And here is an example of point A. A line has one dimension. It is represented by a line with two arrowheads, but it extends without end. Through any two points, there is exactly one line. You can use any two points on a line to name it. For example, this line right here has the points A and B on the line. Now, L is not a point on the line. It is actually uh, another way that we can name the line. So how can we name this line? We can call it line L. Or we can use the points that are on the line to label it. So we can call it line AB. The notation for that is AB with a little line right on top of those letters. Or you could use the opposite direction. You could also call it line BA because a line extends infinitely in both directions. A plane has two dimensions. It is represented by a shape that looks like a floor or a wall, but it extends without end. Through any three points not on the same line, there is exactly one plane. You can use three points that are not all on the same line to name a plane. So here we have a plane. It's hard to draw because it extends without end, but we have used planes before, such as the coordinate plane. The coordinate plane is two-dimensional and extends forever and ever in all directions. How can we name this plane? Notice that M is not a point because there's no point next to M, so it looks like M could be a way that we name this plane, calling it plane M. That only works if M is labeled on the plane, not representing a point on the plane. So we can call this plane M, or we can use any three points not on the same line. So I see three points, A, B, and C. Plane A, B, C. Those do not have to be in that order. Collinear points are points that lie on the same line. Which points in this diagram are collinear? E and F are collinear. They lie on the same line. G does not lie on the line that E and F are on. Coplanar points are points that lie on the same plane. Which points are coplanar in this example? Q, U, and I. Z is not a point on plane M, and therefore it is not coplanar to Q, U, and I. Segment, aka line segment. A line segment is just a cut up piece of a line. Line segment AB or segment AB consists of the endpoints A and B and all other points that may be in between those. Here we have an example of a segment. What's the difference between a line and a segment? A line extends in both directions without end, but a segment has clear endpoints. How can we name this segment? We can call it segment AB. And notice how the line above no longer has those little arrows because this is a segment, not a line. Or we can call it BA because A and B are the endpoints. So we can call it AB or BA with a line above showing that it, it is a segment and does not continue on infinitely. A ray 
is a part of a line that has one endpoint and extends infinitely in one direction, like rays of the sun. Okay, they start from the sun, but they extend forever and ever in one direction. How can we name this ray? Now, when it comes to rays, one side is an endpoint, and one point is just on the ray because the rest of the ray extends forever. So the order of the letters that we write when we refer to a ray is important. This ray can only be called AB. We cannot call this ray BA because the first letter must be the end point. Here we have a ray whose end point is B, but another point on the ray is A. How can we name this ray? We cannot use the same name we used for the other ray. We must start with the end point B and then choose another point on the ray. Now we're going to try one. Give two other names for line PQ and plane R. Name three points that are collinear. Name four points that are coplanar. Give two other names for line P, Q, and plane R. Line P, Q is the line that contains points P and Q. Line P, Q can also be known as line QP because a line extends infinitely in both directions, so the order does not matter. There's also an N next to the line that indicates we can also label the line as line N. That letter is lowercase it is not a point and sometimes is italicized. R is not a point on the plane. It is a label for the plane, so we can call it plane R. How else can we call this plane? Remember, to call a plane, you must use three points not on the same line. There are several different ways that you can call plane R. You just can't use S, P, and T as the three points because they are on the same line. Also, this little, this lowercase m is the label for this line, so that is not a point, and this uppercase R does not have a point next to it, so it's the label for the plane. So we cannot use that letter either as a point. So the only options you have are the points that actually are on the plane, which would be T, P, S, and V. But T, P, S cannot all three be used at the same time. V always has to be used because T, P, and S are all on the same line. They are collinear. Hey, what did I just say? S, P, and T are all collinear. To list four points that are coplanar, there are only four points on plane R, right? Because the little m is a label for a line, R is a label for the plane, but they're not next to points, so they do not represent points. So which points are actually coplanar? That would be all the ones boxed in blue. S, P, T, and V. And that's all our vocab for today.